Hey guys, this is Hope Love, and I'm coming back on to read the next part and draw a line. Now, of course, viewer discussion is advised. Um, we're, we'll be continuing on to the next part. Um, there is no warning, but you know what I'm saying. Um, draw the line is made by Kate Alex, two T's, two X's. Um, and this is, well, obviously the reading is being done by me. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. There are privacy settings that you can turn on. It really supports the channel when you do it. And it's so totally worth it. So then you never can miss anything. Especially if you turn on notifications. I'm getting my wisdom teeth pulled. And because Labyrinth of Evil is here. This new Star Wars book. Which I am making canon in my head unfortunately. Um... Star Wars um, Labyrinth of Evil is here. I will be reading it in between my rapid uploads. Luckily for you, the first chapter was, you know, short. So here we are. The death of Jaco is named Harry. Chapter 21. Ooh, okay. <laughs> but they wouldn't just go away. Jaco just realized as he laid in a bed, in bed, a few few nights later, watching Harry read out of the corner of his eyes. Harry had gotten out of the shower about ten minutes ago, and his hair was still stripping wet. Draco hated how Harry seemed to never take care of his hair. He never dried it and hardly ran a comb through it, though it it though it had though it and Draco had spent a lot of time wishing he had the courage to ask Harry if he could do it for him really that's kind of weird <laughs> not even gonna um, do it for him at the same time though his hair was part of what made him Harry Potter and as much as he hate, said he hated it he also really thought it was charming to get to get to his bed Harry had to cross in front of Draco's, and Draco peeked over at his book and watched him cross the room. He watched as Harry flopped into his bed and let out a groan. I missed you, Harry said, his voice muffled due to the pillow. You're talking crazy now. You're talking to your bed now? And I thought you couldn't get any crazier. Harry shifted his head onto the side so he could look at so he was looking at Draco with a lopsided grin. Draco found himself grinning, grinning back before he could stop. You don't talk to your bed. You, who here is the crazy one? The, the, who here is really the crazy one? Still you. Normal people don't talk to their beds. Last I checked, I wasn't normal. You're perfectly regular. Yeah. Yep, perfectly regular rain. Hey, hey, Harry, Harry half heart, heartedly protested, but Draco continued. Regular sense of style, regular friends, regular interest, regular eyes, regular face. Oh, mm. yeah, and my hair, hair smirked. At Draco, as, in, as his nose scrunched up in mock disgust, not your hair. That is a special kind of disaster. You don't own a comb. I do. Thank you. But it makes it, but it just makes it worse. Harry laughed, running his hand, his hand through the mess. Hand through it and messing it up worse. Stop messing it up worse. I refuse to believe that running a comb through it makes it worse than it already is. Jacob laughed. Go get it. Come and let me try. Ten minutes later, Jacko regretted everything. Harry's hair was sticking up with directions. <laughs> Jacko didn't even know were possible. And on top of that, Harry was pink from laughing at Jacob's face, slowly becoming more distraught. Jacko thought it was terribly cute, though, and was possibly the reason why he didn't. He hadn't given up earlier. Your hair is atrocious. <laughs> what did I tell you, Harry was laughing? 
why won't you why won't it stay butt hair Chico Crown <laughs> as he arranged his fingers through Harry's hair angrily Harry st- had to stay bald ground I don't know my dad's hair was like that too I think <laughs> so your dad gave it to you I feel bad for you for your kids they're gonna they're going to be cursed with this mom So, anyway, um, hey, it's not that bad, Harry laughed as Jago tossed the comb down on the bed. There is no point to this. It just won't settle, Jago flopped down into Harry's bed next to him. Harry stared down at him as he put his face arm dramatically. Hey guys, I'm sorry for that. I'm gonna have to find my place again because my dad came in and lavender the people. Uh, nothing. Well, you know. Okay. Well, I did tell you you. I well, I did tell you you. It wouldn't. Harry turned slightly, slightly and pulled his legs up into the bed, leaning back on his arm to look at Draco. Draco moved his arm off his face and his eyes met Harry's. Their gaze held for a moment and Harry was thinking about leaning into Draco. Draco broke eye contact and they turned his... Sorry, people are talking behind you and it's being there you. Um, have product... Have you tried product? Draco said as smooth oh no god people are so fucking annoying okay anyway something 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 have you ever tried products something something his long fingers messing with the comforter drawing Harry's attention yeah it never works Harry's eyes watched Jacob's hands ran over the seat mindlessly Jacob had moved his eyes back to Harry and set to watch to watching Harry's eyes as they stared down at Draco's hands as they sat there for a moment, peacefully silent. Hey, Draco, Harry began. Wow, I bet it's late. Draco suddenly interrupted and jumped off Harry's bed and watched him small, with a small disappointed frown as Draco walked over to his bed. We should probably head to bed. We have cl- early classes tomorrow. With that, Draco quickly got under the covers, and Harry stared after him awkwardly. Oh, yeah, all right, good night, Harry muttered, climbing into bed and and grabbing a book off beside his table to read a bit. See how much longer this is. A bit. Draco woke up that night to find Harry... Shooting unchangeably things in his sleep. He didn't waste a moment getting getting up and shaking him awake. Hey, just a dream. Breathe, Draco whispered, already climbing in next to Harry. Sorry if I woke you. Harry murmured, already st- starting to drift back to sleep. Now, Draco was here. Dream had been about Draco after all. Harry had dreamed that Draco had fallen to the flames in the requirement and had been in the middle of a fit of panic when Draco woke up. Okay. Draco wrapped his, his arms around Harry's abdomen and curled up him. Just for tonight, he told himself. It means nothing. Just comforting him. Draco felt... Harry's light breath (laughs) ghosting. Sorry. (laughs) Ghosting over his hair and watched the rise and fall of Harry's chest as he breathed. Hey guys, sorry about that. Okay, I'm back and I'm gonna finish up the chapter. Um, (sighs) here we go. Comforting hair, family. Draco wondered what if, what his father would think if he could see him right now. 
and went all outside as he began to fall asleep. When morning came, Harry awoke to blonde, to blonde hair on his face, and his arms right happily wrapped tightly around him. He didn't remember anything from the night before, and froze a bit in shock. Draco started to move, yawning and raising his head up to look about himself. When his eyes settled on Harry's shocked form, it took a moment for him to respond. But he did. But he did. Suddenly jumped back, muttering sorries. Did something happen last night? I can't remember, Harry said. You had a nightmare, Draco stuttered, face going pink. So I woke you up. Slept with me, oh God. And slept with me. Harry laughed, <laughs> and Draco got ready, if it, if at all possible. Relax, I'm not angry. Harry rolled out of bed to get his clothes and headed clothes to his bedroom. That was possibly the best sleep, best I've, that was possibly the best I've slept in a while. Draco watched red-faced as Harry closed the door to the bathroom. Ugh, Draco groaned, flopping his face first onto his bed. I'm such an idiot to fall for him. I have absolutely no chance. Okay, now that's it, guys. I'm done. I have to do a couple of things real quick and fix. And hopefully, um... You know, the Sims card things figured out because something happened with the Sims card with this iPad. So we're going to have to change it real quick. But hopefully everything will be saved. Other than that, I, you know, pretty good today. I hope you guys will be having a great day. This is the end of the video. And um, don't forget to like and subscribe and to leave your suggestions for other things I should read and other things I should do down in the comments below uh love you guys bye and this hope love signing off